Well, Happy New Year, everyone. It is good to be alive. All right, so I'm moving away from Slack and moving over to Keybase. But it's not that big a change. I'll give you the reasons why after this. Yeah, so whenever I started this, I wanted a community and a place where the people in the community could go talk and chat and just have a good solid place where there were no issues or no problems. And what I found out was is that you really needed a good platform for that. Well, we first started out with River because it was free and you had unlimited users, unlimited storage, unlimited messages and all that. But River being new has some few issues, so we ended up eventually going back, uh, not going back, but going to Slack uh, for the community, and everybody sort of had already been using Slack and already been familiar with it, so it wasn't that big of a transition. But now as times move on, so do we, because why? We love technology and we love dealing with new stuff and doing new things, but there are some other reasons why I am leaving Slack and going over to Keybase. Now, a lot of people love Slack and I get it and I completely understand, but Keybase gives us a few things that Slack doesn't. And there are some inherent issues using the free version of Slack uh, versus Keybase, for example. So let's go for the number one reason why, number one, I got my hand to this so I can talk intelligently to your brain is that it is uses encryption and Slack does not. There are several forms of encryption. Of course, you know, uh, apps like uh, Wicker or Telegram, WhatsApp all have different encryption and use different encryption ways of doing things. But for what we want to do, we want it encrypted, but we don't need it to the nth degree and certainly don't need it to be a hassle and certainly don't need it to be very costly. Uh, Keybase is nice because it is free, which is beautiful for us. So encryption is a major thing for us because we definitely need to start looking at security aspects of everything. Personally, business-wise, everything you want to do, you need to start. If you're not doing it yet, you better start doing it pretty soon. So encryption is number one. Number two is from what we found and what I've looked at and done my research is that there's no limit on number of messages uh, Slack, and again, this is the free version, this isn't the paid version, but Slack limits it to 10,000 uh, messages, and that's everything. If you say hi and someone says hello, that's two, not just one. So it not only covers a general room, but it also covers all the direct messages or any other rooms you have associated in there. So what happens when you set 10,000, it archives everything at that level. And then if you want to get to those archives, you can, but of course you gotta go to the paid version. But the problem is that it car archives everywhere, including the direct messages um, or other rooms, which I guess makes sense because it, you know, it's free. You can't really gripe too much about it. But I would like them to just cap off where those 10,000 messages occur. You know, if you're in a general room, get 10,000 messages, that makes perfect sense. But you DM somebody and you only have two messages, and one of those messages is maybe a link to a project you're doing or for whatever reason uh, you need something in there. Well, because it does it across the board, you can't go back there and get it. So then you got to go back and ask them again, which just compounds the problem to the 10,000. The second thing is that it also limits your account to five gigabytes for your account, which is perfectly fine, there's plenty. You just have to go in there and clean your stuff out more often. Uh, for example, if you have a lot of pictures you've been sending, uh, a lot of uh, small video files, things of that nature, you have to go out there and you just literally have to delete them. And then they're gone. So even if those pictures are in a, in a direct message, guess what, you have to delete them too to bring your file size down. Now, it's all well and good to sit there and gripe about 
oh my gosh, 10,005 gigabytes. But remember, you get it for free. So they have to cap somewhere. Just so happens that's what they chose. Number three is the application itself. It seems, Keybase seems to connect a lot better than Slack did. I would open up Slack on my phone and I would constantly get in waiting to connect, waiting to connect, waiting to connect. Sometimes it would take a while. Even if I was in a strong signal, sometimes it even did it on Wi-Fi. So I had some issues with that. Or sometimes you would do an attachment and send and all of a sudden it popped that up waiting to connect. Well, how'd you do the attachment and everything? So what made you kick off? Keybase, I don't seem to be having that problem. Uh, it seems to do it just fine. I understand if I'm in an area that's out in the middle of nowhere and I get spotty cell signal. I live in a big city. There's cell signal everywhere. So really, there should be no reason why you're having a connection issue. Uh, number four, I just like the look of it better. I got tired of the Slack look. It, Slack does a lot of good things, but they don't change anything. It's the same color scheme. It's the same, everything's the same since I first started. And I just, I'm, I'm bored with it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just got bored. So I just want something new, something different. And so that's what had me starting to look for some alternative to Slack. And so we went to Keybase. Now, some of the cons of Keybase versus Slack. Not as fancy. It's not. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It doesn't have all the jingles. It's, it's not all there. And that's perfectly fine because you're dealing with encryption, which should limit some of that. So I don't mind the fact that it's not all hooped up and hafada flapada, which is a real word, by the way, because I just made it up right now. Hashtag hafada flapada. Um, and I just, I just got tired of it. Now, there's not as many bots or integrations as Slack. You can put Slack with anything. You can have anything come in. There's just not that many. And, and I'm fine with that. Uh, some of our community members, um, they don't particularly don't like it because they use, in their, in their businesses, they might use the paid version of Slack. So they get to utilize a lot of other stuff. So Keybase really takes it down to more of the basic level of what you want for chat, uh, information, attachments, sending stuff to somebody else, creating teams. It's more simplified version of that, which I particularly like. I don't need all the fancy stuff, especially for our group when all we do is chit chat and make fun of Phyllis. Now, the one thing that I do miss, there's two things that I miss, and this is not really a big thing. This is more of I needed to find something else so that I could have more than three things to say that there's a con of for me is there's no forward slash collapse or forward slash Giphy uh, integration. So that means like in Slack, if you have a whole bunch of pictures, if you type forward slash collapse, you can collapse all those pictures down into where it just gives you a link to where you can open up. Uh, which Keybase doesn't have. Uh, we've talked to them, they say it's coming, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything uh, to me. It could be coming tomorrow, it could be four years down the road. There's probably more priorities in Keybase than just having a slash collapse. Slash Giphy is a fun little thing just to add GIFs directly into Slack and make it easier than going over to the Giphy website, getting the link, bringing it back, and inputting the link. That's it. There's, there's nothing else. The last thing um, is the fact that there is no browser usage. That means on Slack, if you went to yada 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 dot slack dot com and you signed in, you could use it in your browser just like the regular application. Keybase, there's not that. They do have, make sure I say this right, they do have an, ex an extension that you can put in the browser for Chrome and Firefox that allows you a little bit of that to use your browser for that but again it's an extension to the browser it's not going to a link and within the browser and accessing it that way so for us you know we like looking at new things here in the community we like testing new things and doing new things and moving away from slack to keybase is one of those now in the future of this year we'll also be looking at riot and rocket chat as well as alternatives to Slack to find really 
the home that we want to be. The difference between Riot and Rocket Chat is the fact that I'll host those on my own server. So then file size and the amount of messages doesn't matter insofar as there's going to be no limitation, but the limitation will be the actual size of the server. So then you have to adjust that and see how much that's going to cost if you want to self-host those things. Keybase, uh, the code is on GitHub. I'll make sure I have the link below for you so you can see it. But look at Keybase if you want an, altern an alternative to Slack, especially when that's encrypted. It makes a good one. So, so far, not a lot of backlash from the guys um, and girls because, you know, I don't want someone coming at me from England because I'm scared of her. And um, and it's, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It takes a little bit of getting of understanding how it works and the way that it works. It works similar to Slack in regards to setting up teams and chatting and different functions. But it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more toned down, if, I, if you will. So that's the reason, and that's what we're doing. We've already started to move, so happy, happy, joy, joys. And uh, happy new year. Keep it clean. Stay out of trouble, because it's easier to stay out of trouble than it is to get in it. I'm just telling you. This is just saying. Make sure you back your stuff up. Use Backblaze. That's what I use both professionally and personally. It's a great tool. It's cheap. See the link in below. And then also make sure you're using a VPN. I don't care who you are, what you are, what you're doing. Just because you use a VPN doesn't mean you're doing bad things. It just means you're protecting yourself. So do it. Link's below. Make it happen. Stay out of trouble. Be good. Enjoy the rest of the year.